Okay guys, so I have Steve Donis here. I'm trying to learn how to use Clip Studio so I can replace Photoshop. And I've used Photoshop for years, so I asked Steve if he would help me uh, learn how to do simple things that I, and that's like second nature in Photoshop in Clip Studio. So we're trying to do that. First question is how do we get, how do we assign hotkeys in Clip Studio so I can imitate those hotkeys in Photoshop? Hello everyone. Where it says Clip Studio at the top left hand corner. If you go down, Okay. I'd write under preferences, shortcut settings. Okay. And then if you look at that, it'll, t it'll give you all the different keys. It'll give you the different zoom, gradient, move, pen, correct line. If you go down to marquee, it's the first time you open that up, so that's why. So marquee, got it. Marquee, and then you go down to lasso right there. And if, if you double click it, I guess, at the end, You'll get that little, you just assign, uh, you know, L. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just hit L. Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> okay. So now I can hit that lasso tool really fast. Yeah, and actually you could do it, you know, you could use do that with everything. If you're used to using Photoshop or anything else, you could just assign the same keys. Now, if I, if I put an L here, will it just cycle between the it'll two? It'll cycle. Yeah, it'll cycle between the two because I know I do that. I, I have that with a P. It goes between pen and pencil. That's Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. That's even faster than Photoshop. <laughs> I could put my lasso tool and then brush on the same hotkey. So I could just yep. go bam, 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 hit one yeah, button. Yeah, just hit it a couple of times and I'll switch between them. The next big thing is brushes. Um, and I have here a little thumbnail that I'm going to start working on today. Um, I was digging through the pencils, the this ink pen, and then also different brushes, trying to find an India ink one. Um, what do you use, what do you recommend for just sketching? Actually, what I did is I, I kind of went and I bought a bunch of brushes uh, <laughs> through, a, it's uh, Brian Allen, he has like a bunch of brushes that he sells on uh, online for, uh, for right. Clip, made, made specifically for Clip Studio. Brian That's Allen. it right there, yeah. So he's, he's got like a bunch of different packs and they're, and they're pretty cheap. I mean, it's like, I think, yeah, three ninety nine for that set right there, and I think that's the set I got. Their Clip Studio is awesome. The, the drawing engine for pencils and the brushes are awesome for, for inking. I do all the inking on, not that I'm the greatest inker, but uh, I do all my inking on, uh, on Clip Studio. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I see what yeah. you're saying. So this is a lot like the Photoshop stuff then, but it you can yeah. actually make them spackle in different ways. That's great. Okay. Well, now that I know that, I'll download some of his brushes. Show me, let's go into your monitor now. Okay, now show me how, what basic brushes you use that come with the platform, maybe? I use uh, the smooth one. That's the one right there, yeah. This is a really good one. I use this all the time. So in the India ink setting. Um, India ink okay, setting smooth. Um, smooth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, that's, I use that for like my regular... Brush for anything that really goes in the brush. I use I, I use the smooth one basically, and unless I can, uh, unless I have something really specifically like this rough. I like using this rough for scratchy things. And now these ones that say rough and soft in your palette. Um, those are bought. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Those, yeah. those look great. Yeah. So um, so we got the layers here, which work pretty much the same as Photoshop. You have your color modes. And screen and multiply and all that stuff works. It looks like it's going to work the same as Photoshop. Yeah, all that, all that's basically the same. Yeah. Okay. If you when you're in layers, um, if you use this a lighthouse, it's a lighthouse. Okay. You can use that for if, one of the differences that I found between Clip Studio and Photoshop is you know like when you're really when you're flatting, uh -huh. um, you you, um, you have everything. You, you can go down to the to the. You always go down to the other layer to to reference. To select it, yeah. To select it, right, right. Instead of doing that, when you have this lighthouse on. Oh, so whenever you're selecting, you have your color selector on. It all exactly. You, you don't have to. You don't have to go down to that layer. Keep going down, hitting it, and go back up and and to select. It just selects it uh, automatically. That's really cool. When you're using your textures. I know I have all the textures on one side here. Uh, I don't. Can you see where I'm at here? Mm -hmm. to the at the top here, the arrow. Okay. Yeah. Under the 
my color monogram here, textures. And I have all the textures that I got from you. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it keeps it all in one spot like a library. And, oh, that's nice. Yeah, and, and you just wild. take it and you drag it over. Mm -hmm. And boom. Oh, wow. And, that's, uh, that's awesome, though. You can just have your library built in like that. Yeah, so... Okay. That's one of the things. Now, one of the things that I also that, that I've, um, if I, what, what I've done is like I'm, I'm doing a drawing or whatever, and then say I, I go in and I say that's my background. Mm -hmm. You know, what I do is then I could just drag it in there and it goes only to the oh, screen. It already it masks it for you. Oh, that's yeah, great. So it does it automatically. It looks pretty much the same, just a different way of doing it, but I see. really, really similar. <laughs> Once you see it, you'll be like, oh, duh. If you hold down shift, I'm assuming your lines are, are drawn straight, right? Yeah. I'm figure out to draw a straight line. It's like when I hold down shift. Oh, I see. It actually makes a. Okay, that's just a little different way of doing it, but I, I can get used to that. You know, in Photoshop, if you hold down shift and you start drawing a line, it draws it straight up, down, or straight left and right. Um, for instance, I would start drawing a line, and if I hold shift in Photoshop, it makes that line straight. Like oh, a... you can do it with a line tool. So here's a the straight line tool right here. It's similar. Like if you start drawing your line, um, you can hit shift, and it walks it to degrees. So that, that makes it easy to draw straight lines. Okay. Let me just see if I can start drawing her face. I want a little bit more variation on this brush. You know, I might try instead of the brush. I might try some of these ink pens. Hmm. That might give me some really thin lines. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice and sensitive brush. It's a lot thinner and like crisper than Photoshop. Yeah. And see how you fall in love with it. Yeah, man. The the engines and the yeah, they're to draw with. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm liking it. <laughs> <laughs> I can use this, buddy. Yeah. Woo! And so, the thing is, you know, if, if you start, you know, because everything, like you, like you said before, is like tinkering with it, like going, you know, and, and doing it more and more and more. Yeah. You still have the option you can switch back and forth, you know, because it'll take anything that's Photoshop. That's true. Hotkeys. Ah, yes. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't do much, but. Well, I mean, <laughs> I think just having someone say, "Yeah, I'll I'll sit down with you and help you," it just yeah. helps, it just helps me to take that first step, which is this. Yeah. Tell people where they can find your stuff. Yes, if you please go to, it's called it's iStayTuned.com, and it's about bass tournament fishing. I just add a little drama to it. Well, thanks, Steve. Promise me.